public Windows 8 apps are deployed through the Windows Store. On the Start menu we have a tile to access the store. The Windows Store provides access to Windows 8 apps in various categories. First there's the Spotlight. These are maybe more recent things or things that are best selling. We'll see here there you know, within this Spotlight area there are also tiles here for top paid and top free and new releases. If I want to see what the uh, top free items are in the spotlight, there are tiles for um, different apps showing me 100 apps here and I can click on an, an app and get more information for it. See the overview, usually some screenshots, see the details, um, what parts of my device is this app going to access. For example, it says your webcam, your microphone, your net connection. Those are things that this app has permission to use. I can also read reviews from other users and see what their experience was. Some of them are positive, some of them are negative. I can sort by newest to oldest, highest rated, lowest rated, or what's been deemed the most helpful. There's a back button here. I can go back to the storefront or back to the top free. Let's just look at some of the categories that are here. So there's a category for games. And there will be some featured games or some featured applications in each category. So in this case, we have Angry Birds Star Wars. A lot of apps are free. Some of them cost a little bit of money. And this one is $4.99. We'll see that Ecosia here is free. Most apps run in the range if, if they charge anywhere from a uh, dollar to five dollars. Category of social, entertainment, apps dealing with photos, music and video, sports, books and reference, news and weather, health and fitness, fine dining, lifestyle and shopping, travel, finance, productivity, tools, security, business, education, and then the final one here is government. And the categories will change from time to time. Notice that pretty much all categories have a top free and top paid and new releases. Some, such as the government one here, apparently has no top paid because everything I guess with the government is free. So if we want to find some tools, we can come look at the top paid for tools. You notice the price on all these range from $1.99 up to $4.99. You won't find much that goes beyond $4.99. And again, if I wanted to look at any of this, these for more information, I can just click on it, see the overview, read about it, access the details, and see if anybody's written any reviews of this app. If I wanted to purchase it, I would click the Buy button, provide my credit card, and then I could instantly download it. 